Gunmen have attacked a village in Sokoto State, killing 15 people and wounding several others. Residents tried but failed to stop the gunmen from abducting a wealthy businessman who is a local. While well, the police in Sokoto who confirmed the attack say they couldn't give details as investigations are ongoing. Locals are appealing to authorities to beef up security in the area as hardly a day passes without gunmen carrying out a kidnapping. So now let's uh, get more from our correspondent Amaka Okoye, who is now in Sokoto. Amaka, good evening and welcome to Newsnight again. Okay, so uh, Amaka, uh, we've, we've heard of what happened in Sokoto and I guess your eyes is definitely on what's going on in Zamfara as well. Uh, tell us about what's going on in Sokoto. That's right. All right, that's right, Kayo. Uh, yes, the attack that you mentioned did happen today, and it happened in Amarawa community. Now, Amarawa community is in Ilela, and Ilela is one of the local government area uh, here in Sokoto, which is about uh, 50 kilometers from where we are. That's Sokoto town. Now, uh, this attack is one of its kind, uh, so to say, because uh, that particular community has not seen such attacks. Uh, there are communities uh, that are very, very, uh, that are used to, for lack of a better word, seeing such attacks. Uh, places like uh, uh, Sabumbrini, for instance, which is 100 kilometers away from Sokoto. Uh, that is one of the volatile area. But this particular one is different. And again, Kaya, they, uh, one of the things that we are learning is the fact that, as you did mention there, that this attack happened in the afternoon. So it's not a question of coming at night or coming early hours. It's broad daylight, uh, which again uh, begs the question, uh, how bold these uh, bandits are becoming by the day. Uh, if you look at it, uh, in the events that has happened this uh, few weeks again we're seeing similar patterns uh, these people gunmen uh, come in uh, come on bikes and then they raid the community and you know take away whatever they can take away and harm those that you know uh, become uh, victims so uh, kind of, that's what we are learning uh, that's the unfortunate uh, inc incident that happened to them has taken 10 lives as as you mentioned there now uh, i i know that we're talking about bandits but one of the things that we know is common in uh, sokoto is the fact that uh, sometimes you know residents speaking to residents today when we got in, uh, is the fact that they don't even know uh, who carries out what. Uh, sometimes it's Boko Haram and then bandits uh, claim responsibility and the other way around. I did a resident who we spoke to today, one of them mentioned that, look, uh, it's hard to tell who is doing what because these people, uh, Boko Haram, they, are wep they have weapons. Bandits have weapons. Boko Haram come on motorbikes. Bandits come on motorbikes. So it's somehow uh, sometimes difficult to know who is actually operating. And again, it shows you how volatile all of this area is becoming, especially in the north. Remember that the state governor, uh, Aminu Tambwal, was one of those delegations that visited uh, when we were in Niger State, visited the governor when uh, Niger happened. So again, here we are having this conversation and shows how vulnerable that states are becoming by the day in the north, Kaidi. Uh, yes, and it's Ngozi here. Uh, Amaka, on honestly, it's, it's really uh, troubling as you try to uh, make comparisons between what has happened in Sokoto there with, of course, Zamfara and other places where uh, recent uh, similar attacks have happened uh, recently. Uh, tell us, what do you know about this businessman that was protected, uh, uh, that, of course, led to this uh, unfortunate uh, killings? Was it a deliberate planned attack against this particular businessman, or was it random? What do we know about that? That's a good question, Ngozi. It's not clear whether it's targeted or whether it's, he's just a, a victim. Uh, but what we do know is that business uh, men and you know famous people have been have been targeted around that area, which explains wh why they will have the boldness, you know, uh, to come and attack in broad daylight. In fact, there was a struggle uh, between residents and trying to rescue the gunmen, uh, rescue this businessman from the gunmen before they abducted him. Uh, it's, it's yet unclear. But again, you would you would notice that this. Uh, what we have seen from previous attacks is the fact that they seem to know who they want to go after and sometimes most times even it is targeted again if you re recall what happened in Niger state with the boss the nsta boss uh, it, it just happened that that was not a particular boss uh, that whoever they were targeting is in when they didn't succeed they now you know went to them so uh, chances are that it's targeted but it's unclear uh, we cannot uh, make any comments based on assumptions Ngozi. Well, Amaka, I know you've got your fingers on the pulse of what's going on in that region and you're talking to colleagues and people in authority around that axis. 
Uh, do you have an idea of what's really going on in Zamfara? What's the latest from there now? Right, Kai. Uh, Zampara, as you do know, is uh, is the, the, the case in, uh, case study, so to say. Now that's what everyone is talking about. Unfortunately, before uh, this happened in Sokoto today. Uh, well. Uh, um, the place, the community where the attack happened in uh, government science secondary school in Jengebe, uh, as we do know, uh, um, there's still a lot of conversation coming out from there, especially with authorities saying uh, they are they have intensified the investigations. They hope to conclude, we hope to get answers about their whereabouts and the safety of these girls, whether or not they will be released. Uh, we don't know when that will happen, but in, anyways, fingers are crossed. But if I take you a step backwards, uh, 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 Kaede, that community of Unfortunately, it's one of those communities that are very, very, that's very, very volatile. Uh, unlike what we described in, in uh, Sokoto here, uh, that particular community in, in, in Jengebe, uh, Jengebe rather, has seen uh, a lot of attacks in recent time, uh, you know, in this place. So, yes, we know that conversations are going on. We know that security uh, has been increased since that thing happened. But, uh, but again, uh, Kaede, one thing that beats me every time I cover this, cover in in Kankara, cover in Kagara, which is Kasina and Niger State, is the fact that when you go to these places, and now, of course, Zampara, looking into the things happening in Zampara, is when you go into these places, life just seems normal. Yesterday, for instance, was the market day, uh, you know, of that community, and everyone seemed to be going on and moving on like everything was okay, was normal. Even when we spoke to residents, it, it seemed like, unfortunately, uh, Coyote, unfortunately and very sadly, that it has become normal, you know, that, you know, they, will exp they expect that these bandit attacks will happen and it's just a very very unfortunate situation so that's what we are hearing again very particularly one of the things we well, we heard today is the fact that look before these bandits attacked this school apparently they did notify the people that uh, the, the community the school particularly that we are going to come but uh, unfortunately uh, that was not uh, taken seriously uh, we did uh, speak to a parent and uh, I believe we have that uh, I would say let's uh, listen to him explain uh, that again My daughters told me that a letter was sent to their school, that they will be kidnapped. We thought they were lying. We forced them back to school. Some of them were crying. Their concern now has become a reality. Most uh, unbelievable that uh, the locals do have some kind of intel what security don't have. Uh, well, the governor, uh, Matawale, uh, did say that uh, Nigerians will be shocked, that we'll all be shocked, if, you know, by the time the names of those behind this Jengebe uh, abduction are uh, released. Uh, do you know anything? Are you hearing anything at all? And are there negotiations going on? What are you hearing? Yeah, that... that that, that statement from the governor, of course, uh, spurred a lot of curiosity. Everyone is now interested in knowing uh, who are these people, what names, uh, who are, is he referring to. Unfortunately, uh, we are still waiting, as you do know, with this uh, sort of situation. We don't get complete information. That's, again, unfortunate. Uh, but, yes, we've, we don't know who he was referring to. We don't know the names yet. Hopefully, if they are able to secure this, the release of these girls, which is what everyone is uh, you know, trusting that will happen, then just maybe you will now Amaka, be bold enough Amaka, uh, to Okoye name there for us. and call she these is people. live in Sokoto there, uh, covering, of course, the latest developments there.